Welcome to another episode of What the Hell. So the other day my DVD writer in my computer stopped opening up. It would or it would randomly open or not open depending on the day. So here's a quick solution to that problem. Take a, any paper clip, stretch it open, and usually these drives have a pinhole where you could stick a paper clip to manually open the door. Just like so. It may take you several tries to open it. And then let's see if we could open it some more. Like so. And usually I find that the problem is that the belt drive over here has worn off or has developed a memory. And the solution is to replace that belt. And the good news is we don't have to open the, the drive. We don't have to open the computer and take out the drive. All you need is, is a tweezer like this one. And we're just going to pull off that belt drive. Like so. And here's the O-ring. And this is the replacement. The original belt was a, a black rubber. It was a square edged belt drive. And I replaced it with this silicone O-ring that I got from Amazon. So all you got to do is take out the original, measure the inner diameter of the, of the belt, and get your replacement. This one is a 17 millimeter inner diameter, I believe. And this is for a, I believe this is a light on DVD writer drive. This is about 10 years old. That's it. And to install the new, new o, the, the new belt, just do the reverse. Try to get the view on camera while installing the belt. So bear with me. Okay, I got it on the big, on the big wheel. Now onto the small wheel. Like so. Quick, simple replacement. Test the door. Everything spins up. All right, now let's power on the computer. Okay. And everything works as it should. So this, this solution works with 99% of these computer drives and because the belts are pretty much up front where you could have easy access to it and remove it. And this solution works for DVD players, so standalone DVD players. Or those portable uh, CD burners, DVD burners that you plug into your USB drive or USB port on your computer or laptop. It's all the same. Yeah, everything works now. So once again, my original problem was every now and then this, the door would not open. And then I would stick a paper clip in there and, and the drive would work for maybe a day or two and then it would stop working again. So eventually what I did was take out the drive and open it up and inspect what was going on. And then I discovered that the belt was, has developed a, a memory. Like it's no longer round. It was like a, an ellipse or yeah like an ellipse, the shape of the 
the belt like that. So depending on the position of the belt, the belt would just slip while the, the gears were spinning. And then if I reposition the belt, the, the, the drive would would work for some time until it would until the, the belt drive would settle to its original memory position and then it won't stop it won't work again or it would just start slipping so my solution is replace it with the silicon o-ring and it's just a tiny bit it's like smaller in diameter than the original but it's not too tight or it's not too loose it seems to be just about right and so far it's working real good now you don't want to get a replacement where it's the belt is too tight that you might stress out the these plastic plastic pulleys or gears so That's it. Quick and easy. Alright, until next time, see ya.